Oh, wow. <laughs> if you're over 50, I'm personally 60, and I'm realizing that my muscle mass is actually decreasing. It's a process called sarcopenia. It happens to everyone. And after age 65, research has shown that you can lose up to 3% of your muscle mass per year. We're going to show you five exercises that are going to help prevent this and actually reverse it. And this is proven by research. So let's get on. Studies have consistently shown that resistance training into your 70s and 80s can help retain your muscle mass. So resistance training includes with bands, weights, anything that provides resistance, and volume and intensity of these exercises is absolutely key to grow your muscle size. So in other words, it's how many repetitions you do and how much weight or resistance you are using with each exercise. We're going to show you some excellent uh, exercises for this and not only that the formula so you know how many reps to do and how much per week etc okay it's very critical that you know like i mentioned how many repetitions and the volume etc so on the screen we're putting the magic formula this is per research so it is accurate uh for go ahead mike so for beginners you're going to start with doing 8 to 12 repetitions per set you can start with 8 and progress up to 12 as it becomes easier you're going to do all exercises there's five of them for a total of one time each and you're going to do this two times per week Right, so as you get on with this, you're going to have some sore muscles probably if you've been sedentary. That's okay. That's why we only do it two times per week. You'll get used to this, and you're going to want a little bit more to build those muscles. So you're going to progress up. Again, 8 to 12 repetitions, and then you're going to rest between sets for a minute or so. Uh, and then you're going to do three sets. So if you're going to do curls, and we'll show you this as we get into the video, uh, three sets of each. And the rest time is really important. And then you progress two to three times per week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Have a day in between so your muscles can rebuild and your body can relax. All right, we're going to show you five exercises. Mike is going to demonstrate and we'll talk about them so it's clear on how to do them properly. And then we're going to show you five more exercises that are an advanced set. So after you feel comfortable with this and you want more advanced, then we'll do that. It'll be an option. So the first exercise is a simple sit to stand. It mimics a squat, but in a safe way, especially if you are weak. So slide your butt to the edge of the chair, and you're just going to stand up and then try to control your sit on the way back down. You can certainly use your hands to start if you need the help. If you feel it's too easy and you want to get more leg strengthening, you can cross your arms over your chest like this and do the same thing. Go up and control it on the way down. And for even more advancement, if your shoulders are okay, you can put your hands behind your head and do the same exact thing. Now, if you do have balance problems and you don't feel steady and you have a walker, put the walker in front of you so you have something to hold on to. If you have a, a walking stick or a cane, simply use that for balance. Be very safe. You should feel very comfortable, particularly with this exercise, no falls. Okay, let's go to number two. The next exercise is the old uh, traditional curl. So you can, for weight, you can maybe don't need any weight at all. And you may just do this open-handed after 10 to 12 reps. If you need some weight, simply grab some dumbbells. You do not have to go purchase dumbbells. You can simply use a can of soup. Mike here has a can of <laughs> balls. Stress balls, <laughs> yeah, but we're right, mimicking little, soup. Like tennis balls, and that works well. Good posture, breathe while you do these. Again, you can do one arm at a time like Mike. If you have two cans of soup, do two at a time. If you happen to have some resistance bands, it's an excellent option. Go underneath your feet like Mike is doing. Don't lift your feet up or it'll shoot you in the uh, legs. Yep, so be careful. Shoes on is always the best when you're doing that type of band. Let's go to the next one, Mike. And the third exercise is shoulder horizontal abduction. So you're going to grab a band of sorts. I'm doing it the easy way. Brad is going to do it the harder way by folding up the band. And you're going to pull apart and bring the band to your chest and then bring it back. You do nice, slow, and controlled. We don't want to play an accordion here. <laughs> Again, so this is also a good posture exercise. So think about bringing the shoulders back, chest out. If you don't happen to have bands, you can do this without a weight, and it'll be helpful. You won't get the muscle mass building that the bands have, uh, but you still, it's going to be helpful. We'll go to the next one, which will also help for your hands and wrists. 
And the next one is hand and wrist strength, as well as getting those wrists bigger. And you're going to use squish balls. And Mike has two of them here. That one is from a dollar store. It's just squishy in it. This is a nice squishy ball, like a soft tennis ball. You can simply take a rolled up towel like this, squeeze and twist like you're wringing it out. Now you may wonder why are we working the hands because you don't care about muscles in your hands, but it's very critical. As you age, as your hands get weaker, your function actually drops and you'll become less mobile function and safe with everything you grab. So this is probably one of the most important exercises of the five. Squeeze. I think I've already done 100 reps. You did 100? Sorry. I, I really uh, felt I had to talk about that one. Next one. All right, and the last exercise we're going to do is plantar flex and dorsiflex, so just rocking back and forth on your toes. What do you have to add to this? Well, and on this one in particular, if your balance is off, you have to do like, I'm using a mop, I'm going to hold it here for balance, and I'm fine. If that's not solid enough, Mike is going to talk about two better positions. You can use a solid chair. If your chair is rocking like this one is, you can certainly do them on a countertop or hold on to the kitchen sink, and you're going to strengthen your calves and the front of your ankle muscles. Which is very critical for your balance and walking, and you're going to get that muscle mass built up. Now, if you found that all of these are too easy for you, our next set of five is challenging and the advanced mode. Okay, for the advanced mode, you will need some resistance bands. Uh, we also have some wall anchors that come in very handy. You'll see why. Again, this is advanced, and you're assuming you're going to want to do this. Mike is going to also use, uh, you can use a stick there. Again, a broom or mop handle like this works really well. Okay, let's get on with the first squats. Go ahead, Mike. Oh, we're going right into it. So the first one is squats. So just hold on to something for support if you feel unbalanced. And you're just going to simply squat down, go to where you feel safe, and then come back up. If you only feel safe doing partial range, that's fine. You can certainly have a chair behind you as well. Now, if you want a little more uh, resistance, simply use the bands. Like here, you can hold on here and squat. The higher you go, the more resistance there is. Again, 8 to 10 repetitions. If you do have some wall anchors, that comes in handy. We can simply, on the low anchor, you'll have three or four of them, at least three. And then at this point, you use that so you don't have to stand on it right here and squat down. And now this is really nice. It actually supports you. You don't fall forward because it's actually pulling you back. It helps your balance as well. So the next progression for the bicep curls is simply you can use a heavier duty band. So I have a black band here. It's rated at 50 pounds of force. And you can just do the curl standing or seated if you need to, if you don't feel balanced. To make this even more difficult, I can spread my legs out wider, putting more resistance and tension on it. Or you can even add more bands. But Brad has a different option over there. Right. So I'm going to use the wall anchor. And this is a big benefit. You put it to the anchor there very simply. And I'm going to do my curls here. Now, if I want to make it more difficult, I simply take a step farther away and you can vary your resistance much easier this way as opposed to standing on it. I almost ran out of breath there. I'm getting tired. There you go. So that's a nice option. And if you really feel, you know, really want to get them biceps, you can double it up and just do one at a time. This is Bob's favorite. Arr, strong like bull. All right. I will add Make sure the band is loose when you step off it. I have broken a ceiling tile at a gym once because I didn't do that. You sprung up there? At my school gym, the band broke a ceiling tile. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, the next exercise, or actually this is a group of exercises because it's very easy to do. And by the way, if you don't have any wall anchors, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you something else that you can use at home uh, as an alternative. So this you can do seated. I'll be standing. Mike is seated. <laughs> I almost got tongue-tied there. And you'll put it in the middle anchor. And we're simply going to pull elbows back, shoulders back like this. This is a nice one for those shoulders, the shoulder blades, as well as the arms. And with this, again, change color resistance or simply move back farther to add resistance. A big advantage of using bands uh, when you have them attached to the wall with the anchor or whatever. All right, now the next one you can do, you can do one of these, all three of them or two of them, but the next one is out like this. We call them reverse flies. You'll probably find that you need to move in a little bit closer because your arms are not as strong when you do the reverse flies. 
I feel like we're synchronized exercising here. Yeah, there you I'm go. Try not to hit you. And what's the third one, Mike? And the last one is going to be the chest press. So in a chair, I got to switch this around. So you do have to get up that way. And you might want to lower anchor, but I'm just going to deal with this one for it, now. It'll work. And it, with your standing, you simply turn around, and it's very easy. And you're just going to press forward, kind of like you're doing a push-up, but it's yeah. chest press. It's a little easy for me, considering this is the yellow band, but... Just press <laughs> forward and go like Mike, this. We believe you're strong like bull. Uh -huh. <laughs> the rever you might want to switch bands because the reverse fly, the last one we did, is a lot harder than this one. So. All right. And we've got one more position to work. And the last exercise is another combination of two exercises into one. So first we're going to do some seated tricep extensions. So keep your elbow in the same place as you press down, just like this. Do not bring your arms up like this. It's a totally different exercise. Keep the elbows nice and stationary and just press down. And then we're going to get into a lat pull down. So for this, you're going to go out to the side and then pull down towards the side of your hips. And you're going to work the lat muscle as Brad is showing. And he once again gave me the baby band. Have you ever worked on an airline before? You sound like one of the airline steward. <laughs> no, they're normally short. <laughs> Anyways, I want to get the serious now. Now, if you do have some anchors, one of the beauties of them is, why don't you let go, Mike? You would... I just leave mine hang up there, and then I have another one at the middle section. So you don't have to keep changing them. It's very efficient. works very well. When you do purchase these, they come in a set of four or five. You get either three or four anchors. Uh, so once it's all set up, it becomes very efficient. It becomes part of your household. People will wonder, what are you doing with these in your house? And we'll say... <laughs> That's our Bob and Brad wall anchor set. Okay, let's show you how you can do it if you don't have anchors. All right, if you don't have the wall anchors, it's very simple. You can use a doorknob, open up the door, put the band around the doorknob. You can use an arm rail like this if you have a stairway. Uh, simply go like this, and that will work. Not as well, but it works adequately. Uh, the other thing is Bob used to use his bed post. He's got a, one of those big... California king beds anchor down works very well. Uh, so you use whatever works one way or another. The bands can be very beneficial. And, oh, I mentioned that. You can also, these sets typically come with a door locker. So you just put this in the door and then shut the door and it will stay put. So you can put it up high, down low, or in between. Just make sure nobody walks through <laughs> the door from the other side when you're doing the exercise. You, you might want to walk it. <laughs> that, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right, once again, the three or four Bs. Be helpful. Be careful. Be happy. And be helpful. Helpful. <laughs> there you go. Take care and enjoy your exercises.